everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be going through my Sephora cell picks. I have quite a few products here, and I'm actually gonna to have to split this up into two parts, because I'm waiting on one more box to come, and that box has some stuff in there that's more makeup products. So I thought maybe I would do part one and part two, and because the next box that's coming has a lot of makeup stuff, I figured part two I would do a try-on video where I try on some of the products that I talk about in this video and then some of the new products that have not shipped yet. So that will be up sometime this week, probably Saturday, I would think. I think Saturday is a good day. We'll see. Fingers crossed. But today we're going to get into everything that I purchased during the Sephora sale so far. I picked up some really good stuff. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First things first, I have been... I have been struggling with dry skin, especially on my legs, and I want my legs to be really nice and hydrated before the summer comes. So I'd done some research, and right when the sale started, I went ahead and bought some stuff from Amazing Grace. So I've been using it for mm, about a week. Whenever the sale started, these are actually arrived really fast. These I ordered after I ordered the Fenty stuff and these arrived like within two days I got them. So I've been testing them for about a week now. So this is the Amazing Grace Firming Body Emulsion Lotion. I got the larger size. This is the 32 ounce. Smells ridiculously good. Like it smells so good. And so far, I think it's doing a fairly good job. I don't know. You know, with lotions, it takes a minute. I feel like it's moisturizing, but it's very thin. It's not a very greasy formula at all. It's supposed to condition and help maintain moisture levels of dry skin, leaves skin feeling velvety soft and delicately scented, which is true. So I will keep you guys updated if this really helps to solve my dry skin problem. We'll see. But I also picked up the shampoo, bath, and shower gel. Now, of course, I'm not using it for shampoo, but you can, I guess. Uh, so I picked up the shower gel. I've used it. Obviously, you can tell I've used it several times so far. And it's a luxurious formula that cleanses and conditions the skin. It leaves skin feeling soft, smooth, and delicately scented. So I got this. And then I also got the oil. So this is a satin finish body oil mist. I actually really like this. The reason why I like this so far is because it, like, sometimes when you buy a body oil, it can like before you get dressed, you need to like let it sit on your skin for a minute to kind of let it absorb because it'll get on your clothes. This one is not really that oily, which I really like that. I appreciate that about this formula. Once I put some lotion on, then I've been kind of going over top of it with this oil and it's, I like it so far. So far, so good. But I will definitely keep you guys updated if this helps with the dry skin situation I got going on because... <sighs> Ugh, I want to get my skin looking good so I can start wearing shorts again and bathing suits and all of that. You know what I mean? And anyway, so next up, I stocked up on my Olaplex. I got two different sets of this. Uh, my son's actually getting ready to leave to go do summer sales. He's going to leave me all summer long, which I'm very upset about. But, you know, he's 19. So he's almost 19. So he's going to do what he's got to do. So I bought him a set so that he could have it, you know, for the summer and use. But my entire family, we all use the Olaplex system. I'm obsessed with their system. They have the best shampoo and conditioner ever. I love this stuff. So I bought the Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. If you guys are in the market for new shampoo and conditioner, I cannot recommend the Olaplex enough. The thing that I also want to tell you is this is very concentrated. So a little teeny bit of this goes a really long way. I mean, for all of my hair, I mean, I have clip-in extensions now, but before when I had a full head of extensions that I couldn't take out and I'd have to wash them with my hair, I would still only use about this much to do my entire head. It's very, very concentrated. It's a very thick shampoo and it lathers beautifully. It's one of the best shampoo and conditioners and it strengthens the hair. I am here to tell you my hair has gotten so much better since I started Olaplex and in fact, my stylist was never a fan of Olaplex. She thought it was overrated. And when she heard that I started using it, and then, you know, as the year progressed and I would come in and get my hair done and stuff, she'd be like, Tara, your hair is getting so much better. My gosh, that Olaplex is making a difference. And now she really, really likes it. So 
I highly, highly, highly recommend the Olaplex if you are interested or on the market for getting a new shampoo and conditioner. And what a great time to pick it up now while the sale is going on. Cannot recommend Olaplex enough. Next up, we have these two products from Drunk Elephant. So this is the Sealy Body Lotion and the uh, Camille Creamy Body Cleanser. So I technically didn't get these during the cell, FYI. I actually ordered these before the cell, but I wanted to talk about them in this video because I kind of don't, I'm still on the fence about these. Like this doesn't really like lather up. Like, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I like a, this is the uh, cleanser, the body cleanser. I don't know if you're like me, but I like a cleanser to like really lather up and just, I don't know, I like it to be real foamy and I like to fill it cleaning my skin. With this, I feel like I have to use a lot. Have you guys bought this? Are you guys having that same experience? Let me know in the comments down below how you guys are liking this. So far, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I feel like I get a better lather with the grace than I do with this one. Now, the lotion, I like it, but I didn't notice anything that special about it. I'm gonna continue to use it and I've kind of discontinued it for a minute because I'm using the Amazing Grace, but I was using this for about a week before I ordered the Amazing Grace. It, you only get eight ounces. I think it's like 20 some dollars. It's kind of expensive, but the smell reminds me of my grandma. My grandma uses the Jergens almond, um, cherry almond. That's what this smells like. It's not as strong as the Jergens Cherry Almond, but it kind of has the a hint of it, a very slight hint, and it reminds me of her, and it smells so good. Uh, so I'm still kind of on the fence about how I like this. My thing is I wanna know if it's worth the price because it's very, very expensive for how much you get. And I, you know, I'm willing to pay it if it's gonna work. So I will keep you guys posted on this, but so far, eh. I don't know that I really love it, but I'm still I'm still playing around with it. So, you know, don't shoot the messenger. Next up is this T3 uh, curling uh, attachment. So you guys know that I recently bought the T3 curling wand on, a, a, what was it called? Poshmark, I bought it on Poshmark. So with that wand, it had three attachments, which were barrel attachments. With that wand, it has all these different attachments that you can buy and just use that one wand. So I went ahead and bought this during the sale. This is the inch and a half. I think before the sale ends, I'm gonna get me one more of these, but this smaller size. Uh, but I really, really like the T3 system. I do think it really curls well and it holds the curl well. That's the difference. Uh, I think it, it holds the curl much better than some of my other ones. So I went ahead and picked me up another attachment. Now I also told you guys that I would be getting the Tatcha uh, deep cleanse and also the Tatcha uh, pure cleansing oil. I always stock up on skincare during the Sephora cell and I do have more stock ups coming in my next shipment that will be here in a couple days. But uh, anyway, so I went ahead and picked up the, you guys know that these are like my holy grail. I use this at night and I do a nice deep cleanse and then I use this in the morning because it's so gentle. That's what I love about cleansing oils. I don't, you know, whether you use the one from Tatcha or you can find one that's a little bit more affordable, cleansing oils are really, really good to use in the morning. You know, when you're using like a, a really good cleanser at night to kind of remove all the dirt and the makeup and you wanna make sure that you're going to bed with a really clean skin, but you also, after you clean your skin at night, you put a lot of night creams on and then when you're sleeping, you have, you know, your skin cells are shedding and you know, you've maybe, sweat, you've had a little bit of sweat, or you've got the oil buildup, whatever it is, going in with a gentle oil cleanser the next morning will gently clean your skin without stripping it. So I highly, highly, highly recommend a really good cleansing oil in the morning. I also ordered this. So this is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I love this cleansing gel. The reason why I bought this along with the Tatcha, because I'm sure many of you guys are gonna ask. By the way, can you hear the saws outside? 
You probably can. My husband and his employees are building a deck off of the back of our house. Um, so if you guys can hear that, I apologize. But we got to keep the guys working, you know? I mean, with all this crazy virus stuff, like everything was shutting down. So my husband wanted to find a way to keep everybody employed. And so he's putting a deck on the house. Anyway, this Dermalogica cleansing gel is a little bit more affordable than the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. They're both really, really good cleansers. And I like to use the deep cleanse because it's so expensive. I like to use this about three or four nights a week. So I, when I'm not using this, I grab this. So if I'm wearing a lot of makeup, I'm obviously gonna go in with the Tatcha, the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. That's gonna be the one I'm gonna reach for. But on those days where I'm not filming and maybe I don't have any makeup on, I will grab this because this is just a really good gentle cleanser and it will it'll do what I need it to do. I feel like I don't need to use the deep cleanse on the days that I'm not wearing makeup. So that's the reason why I have the two cleansers. And the next product is from Patrick Ta. So this is his new, the Major Brow Shaping Wax. So I bought the clear and I think that the colored one is sold out right now. I actually used it today. I'm gonna have to get a squirt bottle of like water because I don't wanna use setting spray because I think that's just a total waste. Unless you're buying like an e.l.f. setting spray or you know, something that's cheap at the drugstore, but I kind of feel like water would work just as good as setting spray. You activate the formula with a drop of setting mist or water, brush a spoolie or a firm brush onto the pan to pick up the small amount of wax and brush through your clean brows in an upward outward motion. So I used it today and I really do like it. I had to spray it twice to kind of get it to, you know, get it to kind of come up because it's really firm. You really need the water to be able to pick up the product. And then when you go in, if it's not, if you don't have enough setting spray or water on it, it, it'll have these little white flakes on it. So it's gonna take me a minute to get used to it. But I will say though, I ran this through my brows and then I went in with my marker. You guys know I like to use a marker, sometimes more so than a than a um, actual pencil. But it was like, it, it, it really holds the brows. Like I'm really, really impressed. And I, what I like about it is that it makes them look fuller and thicker. So I don't necessarily know, I've only used it once, I don't know, I don't necessarily know that it's going to make them like stay in place per se, but what I noticed right off the bat with this product is that it actually makes them look thicker and fuller. Now don't get me wrong, you can use soap. A lot of people and a lot of makeup artists have been using soap for many years. I would recommend like a glycerin type of soap. You're not gonna wanna use like a dove, like a bar of Dove soap. You're gonna wanna find a glycerin bar of soap that is kind of a clear color or something. Um, the glycerin based is, is better. So far, I really like this. Now, I might do a video comparing this to like maybe a regular glycerin soap. So if you guys are interested in seeing a full review of this, comparing it to a glycerin soap, let me know in the comments down below. I would, you know, that might be a video I could create. I will continue to use it and definitely let you know. Now, speaking of brows, because you guys know I love markers, uh, Milk just actually launched new Kush Triple Brow Pens, and I got this one in the shade Dutch. Before you go in with a marker like this, you have to make sure where each bristle is. So let me do a close up here. Can you see the little slats that are inside this brow pencil? See the little indents in it? So when you go to put it on a brow, you gotta make sure that those are in the exact same spot that you want it. The problem is all of the, sh all of the color kind of runs together if you don't. So you have to come at it at an angle, but it's really hard to do. I don't know that I love this product. I kind of understand the philosophy behind it, but if you're wanting single strokes, it's a little bit harder to do. Now, if you have really, really thin brows and you just wanna put something on and get it over with, this might be a product that you might like. Uh, but as you can see, it makes those two little marks. It's supposed to make three, but because of the way that the tip is made, I think the tip should have been much smaller. I think that's the biggest issue with this product is that the tip is too thick and it kind of creates like all of the little marks kind of run together because they're so thick. So I feel like they should be maybe a little bit longer because they're shorter and stubbier. I think that this should be much thinner 
and I think that the little spike things should be much smaller, way more thin than what they are. I don't know that I love the marker, but it, I am kind of just used to a single stroke marker. It just gives you those natural strokes. Because I don't like big blocky brows on my facial features, I like the MAC one, and then I've been really loving the brow, brow blade from Urban Decay. That one's a little bit hard to find the right color, but once you find the right color, it's a great product. Uh, so I don't know, I, I, and I also like like the ones from Glossier. Glossier, I don't love all the colors from them. If you can find a right color in the Glossier, then they're fabulous. But if you don't find the right color, and I don't think, I think they have only like three color options, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, so if they had more shades, I think I would like that one just as much as I do the one from Urban Decay. But I'm going to continue to kind of play around with this. But so far, I don't really like it. That's just my, that's my opinion. That's my Next up, we're going to move on to this. So this is the Luminous Silk Foundation from George Armani. I bought the mini size. And the reason why I bought the mini size, I don't know where the full size is. I have a full size. Uh, but I have it in the shade five and a half. And I know it's been too light for me. And I've never liked that foundation. I've wore it several times and hated it. So I thought, I'm going to see if it's the shade I don't like. But I don't want to buy a new, a big one. And so I got the smaller size, which is still very expensive. Like this is a half ounce, I think. It's a uh, 0.6 ounces. So just a little bit over a half ounce. And I'm gonna kind of test it out, see if I like it. Everybody seems to love this foundation. It seems to be a holy grail for people. And I wanna know if I don't like it, is it because I didn't have the right shade? I wanna know why everybody loves this damn foundation and why I don't like it. So I'm going to, I'm going to be testing this out. I'm going to be really playing with it. Uh, okay. Then I got this from tower, uh, tower 28, I think is what it's called. Yeah. This is the beach please. This is their luminous tinted balm and I have it in the shade golden hour. So this is golden hour. Oh, I really like that shade. Oh, I really like that shade. Okay. So that's actually really pretty. It's like a bright orange, but I know that once you like pop it on the skin, I think it's gonna be really pretty. Uh, so I'm gonna be testing this out in that part two video. So be on the look for that. I will definitely be playing around with this one. See, I got something else. Oh, oh, right here, okay. Next up, we have the new concealer from Kosas. So this is the super creamy and brightening cream uh, concealer. It looks really white in the packaging. Um, so I got this in the shade 5.5. So that's what 5.5 looks like. It's light though. It's kind of light. Very creamy. Very creamy. I don't know that you're going to get a lot of coverage out of this. Doesn't feel like it's a really... Um, like a too thick of a formula. Like it doesn't seem like it's super pigmented. Maybe a light medium situation, um, but it blends out beautifully and it seems like it stays radiant and hydrating. Look at that. I'm excited to try this. It feels a little thick though. I don't know, I'm curious. I'll definitely be trying it in that video. I also just ordered the new concealer from Tarte. Um, I will put it up here on the screen. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. So I don't remember what it's called anyway. Uh, so I ordered that. That will be here this week. I'm also going to be testing out the new Giorgio Armani foundation. I will put that up here on the screen. So be on the look for that review coming up this what? week. So now that we got through all the Sephora's, I want to show you guys my new PR that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I wanted to give a huge shout out to House of Siage for sending me over some of the prettiest things I've ever received in my entire life. My husband was even like, oh my gosh, that that is unbelievable. I'm like, I know. Here's the website. <laughs> Here's the link. They have some of the prettiest things I've ever seen. And several months ago, they reached out and sent me a package and my grandfather passed away. So I just never got around to, you know, talking to you guys about it. And then recently they sent me over another bow tie lipstick and a new bottle of their fragrance, which I am absolutely obsessed with. You guys know that all of their products are made in France, which is amazing. Right now they're having a 25% off sale. So I'm actually going to take advantage of it and pick up something for my mom. And also maybe send a picture of what I want to my husband. You know what I mean? But I got to repick what I wanted because one of the gifts that they sent me, I was already going to order for myself and then they sent it to me. So I'm going to pick something else. So the first thing that they sent over was this. I had one of the bow tie lip cases and then I think it had four or five of the actual lipsticks and you guys this is so 
so beautiful. This was in collaborations with Amazon Studios for the movie The Aeronauts, created as a limited edition. You guys, it's so beautiful. The red and gold, oh, I'm obsessed with, seriously. How beautiful is this set? Oh my gosh. So, and this is something that is a timeless gift. That's the reason why I want to get one for my mom because I know that there is something special about these. I've been watching people talk about House of Siage for a while. You know, Michelle, Michelle Wong has talked about them, Mel Thompson. Several of my friends have talked about House of Siage. And until I actually got it, I did not realize just how timeless these are and how special they are. You don't realize it until you actually hold it in your hand. And there, there's something, I mean, they are absolutely unbelievably beautiful. This is the red one and it's got these beautiful butterflies from the movie, which is really cute. But look at that red and gold. Is that not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? I'm obsessed. Now, again, this, you can get this set for 25% off. There's several different products on their website. They even just uploaded a bunch of Mother's Day sets that you can pick up. Oh, I love this. This is gonna be like my absolute favorite because it was the first one that was sent to me and I will cherish it forever. Then recently they sent over this. This was actually what I was going to pick up for myself and they sent it over. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I've been in love with mint. Like I'm in love with the color mint lately and look. <laughs> Is it not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh. I am obsessed with this color. Look at this color. And look at the way the Swarovski crystals like shine off of the lights. It's unbelievable. And that's why I want to get one for my mom because I know that it's so timeless. There's nothing that I could give her that she would love like she would something like this because it's so beautiful and so luxe and just... You guys, House of Siage is where it's at. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. And I understand it's very pricey. I'm so glad they offer afterpay. <laughs> By the way, they offer afterpay. I'm so grateful they offer it because, oh my gosh. But it's such a beautiful collection and it's something that they will always love and cherish. And then they sent this. And let me just say, this is definitely the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know that I've ever seen anything this pretty. This is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Is that not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? Seriously, it's heavy, okay? It's very heavy, very luxurious, very beautiful. Of course I picked the peach shade, I mean, duh. I love peach. This is the prettiest bottle of perfume I've ever seen in my entire life. And let me say this about the fragrance. So this is their Whispers of Enlightenment. It comes from their floral collection. It's the Whispers in the Garden, which is all about different affirmations of their meaning per scent. Whispers of Enlightenment is all about manifesting your ultimate purpose in life. And as you can see, they have tons of different shades that you can choose from. I love how they give you such a variety because we all have our own different love of colors and we all love things different. This smells, it's my favorite scent. I've never smelled anything like it. And let me also say this. I'm not gonna spray it because I've already sprayed it once today and this stuff, I don't wanna waste it, okay? But I sprayed once right here, that's it. I spray it right here. One, one spray will last you all day into the next day. So I got this right around the time that the coronavirus was starting to kind of come in, but everything wasn't shut down yet. And I went shopping one day and did a bunch of errands. Every, and I'm not lying, I went to the grocery store, I went to the drug store, I went to, I had to go to the mall and exchange something. I had, oh, I went and picked up lunch. So I went into the, into the restaurant, picked up lunch, you know, take out. And I, oh, and I went to the post office. Every single place I went to, somebody told me I smelled good. Every single place. It was like unbelievable. That's how good this smells. And this is the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't think I've ever seen anything so pretty. And what a beautiful bottle of perfume to give to your mother. I mean, seriously. So I wanted to let you guys know that they do have a ton of different gift sets. Uh, the gift sets you don't get 25% off because I think they're already like half off as, as it is. Uh, but everything else on their website is 50% off. Definitely take advantage of it. If it's if you've been wanting to spoil yourself with House of Siage or you want to spoil something that you love, 
right now is the time because I am here to tell you, I thought that this stuff was, you know, just something bougie and very expensive and whatever. This is something I will treasure forever. This is something that I will probably pass down to my daughter. This is something I will keep on my makeup counter and, you know, in my vanity, in my bedroom, and I can give to my daughter and maybe she could pass it down. That's how I feel about these. These are very, very special. They are not to be taken lightly. They are not just another lipstick. They are not just another perfume. These are very, very special. And I am so grateful for House of Siage for sending this to me because this is unbelievable. And... They are stunning. Now, you they have several different uh, lipsticks that you can choose from. My personal favorite is the Baroness. I love Duke. I love the Baroness. I love Duchess. I love Count. Such beautiful shades. Such beautiful shades to choose from. If you want to get something for yourself or your mother, I will link everything in the description box down below. And I appreciate them for offering Afterpay because Afterpay definitely helps, especially right now. We all need Afterpay. So... Thank you again, House of Siage, for sending this over. So that's it. That is my Sephora haul. I will be back for part two, and I will do a full try-on. So be on the look for that video coming up this week. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me in today's video. Again, thank you, House of Siage, for sending over such beautiful things to me. You spoil me, and I am so grateful. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.